Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a Freestyle Friday message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the messages that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic and spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, y'all. So it's Freestyle Friday, so we're just going to, you know, see whatever comes out. Thank you guys for, you know, subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, and sharing. Y'all continue, you know, to share the channel to those that you think would benefit, you know. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. So let's get started and let's see what Spirit has. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? Angry. So someone is angry. This is you or you know someone in your energy. Excuse that um, noise, y'all. It's my dog. So, but it was loud. Someone is angry. Whoever this is, they could be at a distance from you. One more. Just one, please, Spirit. Yeah. And whoever this is, you know, they could be going down the wrong path. And then we have right path at the bottom of the deck so we know that you're you're on the right path but there is someone that's angry and they could be at a distance from you and whatever they're doing they're on the wrong path so we're just gonna again see what spirit has for us spirit why is angry here mm. whoever this is is angry um they're angry because they have to face the truth distance about something um it could be because they're going through a transformation or you know you could be the one that's going through a transformation wrong path nine 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 it's a wrap and then we have in between two lovers at the bottom of the deck so um Whatever path, whatever wrong path this person is going down, um, it's a done deal. Because whoever this is, you know, they're going through a transformation. And they're angry because, you know, they're going through a transformation and they're having to face the truth. And so, you know, I feel as though spirit is just basically uh, rewinding the track on this person. Spirit is basically putting everything that this person has done in the past you know, right in their face. I feel as though spirit is even putting things that they're doing now right in this person's face. So let's just see what's going on. Spirit, why is angry? One more shuffle. Why is angry face the truth here? Uh, yeah. This person is angry and, and, you know, they are having to face the truth because, you know, spirit is basically blocking this person out from, you know, people, places, and things that don't serve their highest good. Whoever this person is, um, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel as though they've played a lot of games, and in order for this person to move forward in their life, um, they have to go through this transformation. They have to face the truth. This is the only way that, you know, they're going to be able to get on the right path is for them to go 
through this transformation and face the truth. Distance, transformation. I just heard there's no other way out. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yep. And they're mad. They're pissed off. Um, it could be because of, you know, something, some truth that was spoken. But whoever this is, yes, they're at a distance from you. And they are going through a transformation. And so, um, I mean, the way it's looking, because this person is blocked out um, from people, places, and things. Um, it's It's making them more angry. And it's making them, you know, feel like that, you know, they can't go through this transformation. It's, it's bringing out the emotions in this person. But right now, you know, this person is emotionally angry. And this person, you know, could be angry because while they're facing the truth, they're seeing, you know, they're seeing themselves for, you know, who they are. Wrong path. 999, it's a wrap. Yeah, so, you know, someone chose the wrong path. Um, and I feel as though they're, they could be choosing the wrong path because there has been an ending. So I'm feeling like, you know, this is a energy that is attached to someone that is attached to your energy, if that makes sense. I'm getting, you know, third-party vibes, but we'll keep going. But whoever this is, yes, um, they're angry because they're they're blocked out from people, places, and things. And spirit is, you know... Um, making this person face the truth. This person is going through a transformation or you could be going through a transformation. But the fact of the matter is this person is very, very much pissed off because something has ended. And this person probably is trying to retaliate and get back at someone. And that's why the wrong path is here. We have the Seven of Cups. So, you know, this person could be, you know, looking at op options as to how to retaliate and get back. Or this person is, you know, using black magic and spells to, you know, retaliate and get back. Either way it goes, this person is going down the wrong path because of an ending and they're trying to retaliate on someone. Two of Swords. Yeah. So this person, um, you know, they could have gotten fired for a job and so they're trying to retaliate on their boss or if this is a love situation, um, they're angry because they're facing the truth about uh, a masculine energy. And they're also angry because they're blocked out from this masculine energy. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is a masculine energy. Um, there could, you know, be third party energy that comes out further in the message. But the person that is angry is this masculine because he does have to face the truth. Um, this masculine specifically is at a distance. So, you know, if if your masculine is around you, this is not the message for you. Um, but again, this masculine could be going through a transformation or you are. This masculine is choosing the wrong path by having other options. Um, yeah, they're trying to control the situation when it comes to, you know, having other options. I'm not going to say in love, let's say in lust. And, you know, they know that they're going down the wrong path, but there is uh, an ending that, you know, is taking place or has taken place. And so this masculine, you know... Because they're having to face the truth, they're analyzing, you know, everything. Like I said, spirit is probably, you know, rewinding the track on this person. Spirit is basically making them face themselves all over again in a very, very bad way. 
Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel as though, you know, they're analyzing why um, someone is mad because this masculine is angry, but there is someone in their energy that is mad as well. And they're analyzing the fact that, you know, they could have possibly planned, you know, to have these options. You know, maybe it's to have, you know, support. Maybe it's for, you know, hold on, y'all, for just a second. My dog got something trying to chew on it. Thank y'all. Um, where was I? Yeah, this person is analyzing why, you know, the energy that, that they're attached to is mad. And it's because, you know, they could have possibly planned to have these options in lust, um, you know, to basically support them in their life. Maybe this person, you know, doesn't have a lot. And, you know, um, so this person is like, well, if I have, you know, a couple of people, you know, a couple of men or a couple of women that can help me out. Um you know, I'm good with that, but this person might be looking towards a relationship with someone else, or, you know, this person is already in a relationship, but, you know, they're planning to basically be in a lustful energy with other options. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, this this masculine analyzed their plan. And uh this masculine was revealed that they were going down the wrong path and that's why this ending is taking place because someone found out that they did have options. And so this masculine basically is have is trying to have strength. Um but really, you know, he's trying to basically strong arm someone to stay in a situation with him knowing that he has other options. The Emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this masculine, yes, he's having strength because he know he's, you know, overdoing his manipulation. He know he's doing too much. Trying to, you know, fulfill his wishes through other people. Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's trying to, yeah, stay strong. Because, you know, again, he was overdoing his manipulation. He's just doing too much. And so... Someone analyzed it and basically, you know, it was revealed that, yes, this masculine has options and, you know, they really don't care. They're cool with it because the, whoever this masculine is, yeah, they're very controlling and, you know, they'll do anything to make themselves happy, even if it hurts other people. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whoever this is, is that you know that's that's going through this transformation. I feel like it's you. I feel like you're at a crossroads with you know um, deciding if you just want to go ahead and move forward. And be happy because this person feels like that it's okay to do whatever they're doing, not really taking, you know, your feelings into consideration. Strength. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. And whoever this is, they know that you're strong enough to fulfill your wishes and to be happy. And they know that, 
you don't have a problem with moving forward. When it's done, it's done. And so, yeah, this person is all up in their heads. You know, they, they can't sleep at night. All they can think about is, you know, them facing the truth. Because they are facing the truth. And I feel like Spirit is also showing this person how whoever this is in their energy can just walk away. And how it's going to really affect this person. And they're not taking it lightly. Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody seen something and somebody spoke about something. The sun. But I feel as though this masculine is, you know, spying on someone trying to figure out what to say to this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, spirit is definitely making this uh, masculine analyze, you know, the truth face the truth and it was revealed then this masculine is under judgment because they did too much six of swords mm -hmm. yep and they know that whoever this is that's you know attached to their energy or that they're attached to you know their energy if that made any sense um, but they know that this person is planning to move forward and they don't want to, you know, miss an opportunity, but they know that whoever this is, is giving them chance after chance after chance. And, you know, this person technically knows that, you know, what they're doing is wrong and they know that they need to end it. But this person, you know, could have, you know, some type of mental, you know, issues that they need to deal with. Because, you know, they're only concerned about themselves, but they, and maybe this person doesn't. Maybe this person just, you know, wants their cake and, and they also want to eat it too. But whoever this person is, you know, I don't feel like to a certain extent they feel as though they miss, they're going to miss an opportunity. But I feel like this, this person, you know, basically feels dumb because they were caught. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. I can't make it up. Five of Swords. Yeah. They feel stupid. They know they're guilty for, you know, backstabbing you. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine energy. Um, this could just be a controlling person. Um, but whoever this is, they do, they are a control freak. Yeah, but they feel dumb because basically they were exposed for being deceitful. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Because whatever was seen and spoke about as far as this masculine, you know, overdoing their manipulation and trying to control something, um, this masculine is blocked out. Because someone is mad because, you know, they analyzed the situation and spirit revealed it to this person. And so, yes, this, this, whoever this person is, it's under judgment. And someone is planning to leave this situation. Page of Cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this is, they're very childish and they listen to, you know, other people. I feel as though, you know, they, they listen to, you know, people that don't have any substance, people that, you know, don't give them good information to serve their highest good. But this person is very childish and, you know, they want to apologize, but at the same time, I just feel as though it's a fake apology or they try to apologize judgment whoever this is they a clown <laughs> to be honest judgment mm -hmm. all these pages all these pages 
This person ain't talking about nothing. Yep. And I feel as though because they were revealed and because they feel stupid because, you know, the truth is out and because they're facing the truth, um, they just want to apologize and try to, you know, basically love bomb you and gaslight you with some type of good news. Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. But they're stuck. They're stuck because, you know, they could be going through a transformation and so spirit is dealing with them. Um, yeah, spirit is basically making this person face the truth. And, you know, whenever spirit is done with this person, then this person will be able to move forward. Other than that, this is this person's last opportunity to get themselves together. Whoever this is. Five of Swords. Yeah. And this person knows. Um, this person knows that. Basically. They're stuck. And feeling stupid. Because. someone is walk leaving because they they know that they planned you know this this whatever it is that they're doing they know they planned it but yeah they're stuck getting some some enlightenment from spirit because they have to end their toxic ways in order to come up out of their head in order to you know stop having this mental anguish they have to stop doing toxic things they have to stop being deceitful yeah they have to end it and that's why 999 it's a wrap there because Whoever this person is, they could have said that they were going through a transformation or that they were changing. Um, but they're still going down the wrong path. And so basically spirit is telling them that if they don't get themselves together, then nine, 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 it's a wrap. Death. I don't feel like there's a person that is telling this masculine this. <clears throat> Maybe, um, you know, you someone has said this to this masculine, but I feel as though... This is the last time spirit is 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 done dealing with this person when it comes to you know being toxic and and not doing the things that they are supposed to be doing, especially you know if you're putting God in it, you know if you're going through a transformation then you're you're saying that you're <clears throat> on a spiritual journey, you know you're saying that you're trying to do you know the right things, so this person could be faking you know being on their spiritual journey. But either way it goes, this person is stuck because they need to end their toxic ways and, you know, they need to end using their mind and not their heart to speak. Page of Cups. person is you know going through a transformation um yeah their spirit is getting ready to end this person you know from doing deceitful things to get money from you know women hang man Okay, and so for some of you, I'm getting that this person is stuck from ending um, something, you know, with uh, feminine energy because, you know, they're basically trying to use this feminine energy or they're just being deceitful um, still behind somebody's back with this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. Justice is in the reverse, so this could have been, you know, this person could be married to this feminine energy. Um, with the justice card, it's giving me, you know, um, they're still married. Justice in reverse. They're still married. So whoever this person is, um, you know, they could have, <clears throat> they, they were supposed to, you know, had ended a karmic 
marriage or a karmic cycle, karmic contract. Justice in the reverse says, you know, that they haven't ended it yet. The scales aren't balanced when it comes to this situation. Death. Mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. They're still working on it. They're still working with this feminine energy. They're still, you know, being deceitful behind someone's back. Seven of Swords. And this person has a nerve to want to, you know, apologize for continuing to do it. Yeah. Yeah, they're still working on it. Working with this person. They're holding on to this person. Yes. And yes, they are juggling. Justice in the reverse. Yeah. This masculine is codependent on whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't get a divorce. They're juggling the fact of if if they should end it or not. And Spirit is saying, telling this person that you are going down the wrong path. You have to end this. This person isn't listening to Spirit, and that's um that's why I'm getting the you know the energy of Spirit is about done dealing with this person. Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. This this whoever this is, masculine or feminine energy. Um, yeah. They're still working uh with another feminine or masculine energy. They're codependent on this feminine or masculine energy, and they are juggling. And there has been no divorce, and they have not ended it with this person. So, you know, if they're telling you that, you know, they're not working with this person anymore, that they have ended it, Ace of Swords in reverse, they're not telling the truth. Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fact of the matter is they're not trying to hide it. The moon in reverse, you know, it's out. Yeah. But I'm also getting that, you know, they're trying to hold on to um, another energy, but they're juggling this, that energy with this Queen of Pentacles that they haven't divorced. And, you know, they know that the other energy is juggling the fact of ending it with them because they won't tell the truth. And the secret is already out, the moon in reverse. Whatever they've done in the dark definitely has come out to the light. So this person is dumb to think that, you know... They, they were already found out. So, two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yep. The secrets are out. It's all out in the open. And, you know... Whoever this is, they still want to, you know, bring forth an offer. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yep, but they know that um, because they are juggling and they didn't do what they were supposed to do per spirit, that this person is ending something with them. And uh, not the Queen of Pentacles energy, but the other energy. And this person is, you know, they are angry. They're depressed. They're stressed out because the other energy doesn't want to, you know, they know that they're not going to accept their offer because all their secrets are out. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Yep. And because they didn't tell the truth, it's, yeah, it's causing this person to have depression, anxiety. You know, this person feels burdened. But they're trying to have behind it. So they're trying to make it like, you know, everything is fine. Nothing's going on. But this person definitely is going through it. And, you know, a big part of it is because spirit is making, making this person face the truth. The moon in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The secret's out when it comes to this three of cups situation. Yes, this third party situation. The secrets are out. It was it, it's, it was in out in the open in the first place. So it really wasn't a secret. 
four of cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, you already knew. And that's why, you know, if this person comes to offer, you know, you some type of cup of fake love, you're not going to take it because you already know that they're still involved in third party situations. And they didn't try to hide it. Four of Swords. So yeah, um, you know, this person could have, you know, try to, to could have manifested you. Um, that's what I'm getting for some. For others, you know that there is black magic and spells involved <clears throat> when it comes to, you know, this relationship. And so this is probably where this third party energy comes in. Um, but when, it, yeah, because when you when when it comes to this third party, you. You know who this person is, who this third party is, and you know that they're doing black magic and spells to basically keep this masculine, you know, in this situation ship. Thank you, Spirit. Mm hmm And so there's gonna be a tower moment. Or there or there was a tower moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for this masculine, so yeah. Or, you know, it could be a feminine energy. But there was a tower moment between, you know, a masculine and a feminine energy. Um, and the feminine energy did speak some truth about what was revealed. Um, and so, basically, the feminine energy is moving forward. You know, they're moving forward to have success and victory but this masculine because the masculine has been found out they want to you know try to act like that they love this person so much um because the truth is out and so this masculine you know is going to try to love bomb like i said basically to get success and victory mm -hmm. Yeah, and because of this tower moment, because this masculine is facing the truth, um, you know, they wish that they would have spoken about the truth, um, you know, in the past so that they could get success and victory. But now it's a burden when it comes to having this relationship with, you know, this other feminine energy. They feel left out in the cold um, because of their past and the choices that they made trying to get success and victory. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And they're being left in the cold because, you know, they didn't end a cycle. And it was revealed that this masculine, you know, was still in toxic situations. Yeah. Yeah. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, um,. Yeah, it was revealed, but also, you know, this this masculine or whoever this person is didn't end this cycle because of a little bit of money. They thought that the will of fortune was going to turn in their favor and, you know, they were going to have, you know, success and victory within their stability. But whatever this person did to, you know, cause whoever's walking away to walk away, they, it was foolish. It was dumb. It was stupid. And the person that walking away doesn't want a family situation with this person anymore. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah. So whoever the outside uh, feminine energy is, not the um, Queen of Pentacles. 
Yeah, she's been getting spiritual messages about, you know, this masculine putting her in competition or him. And this masculine, you know, wants a new beginning, but it ain't gonna work. Whoever this Nine of Pentacles energy is, yeah, they're walking away from the toxic BS that this masculine is still involved in. But this masculine wants a new beginning in love with this person and they want to come towards this person. But this masculine is toxic. And it's not a pinnacle of energy, you know, waited a long time to heal, you know, their their past wounds and things of that nature. The Hierophant, yep. And yes, whoever this nine of pinnacles energy is, she's definitely tapped in with spirit. She's definitely, you know, and it it was her and spirit that basically healed her. But I feel as though um, whoever this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy is, um, spirit, you know, brought this person to this masculine energy to whoever this control freak is, masculine or feminine. And um, whoever this is that's angry, that's facing the truth. Yeah, they want to come in their toxic negative energy and, you know, offer some unrequited fake love. And so spirit is intervening on this at this time. And this person is blocked out because they're in, still in a karmic contract and they're still trying to take other people with them. They're still trying to, you know, attach other people to their karma for some money. It's always about some money, ain't it? All right, y'all. So let's clear this canvas so we can get the rest of the message. Clarify angry and face the truth when it comes to this situation. Mm, hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So, yeah. This person is angry because they're facing the truth. They're angry because spirit is dropping the hammer on them. And, you know, because basically they're self-sabotaging and they're, then they're trying to sabotage other people. <clears throat> yes, they are going through, you know, some type of transformation. And, you know, from the looks of it, it doesn't feel good because this person keeps repeating the same uh, toxic karmic cycles over and over and over again persistently. They keep working on being toxic consistently. And again... <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Spirit is about done dealing with this person, with this, with you know, being toxic and things of that nature. Especially when this person claims that they're changing. Hammer. Yeah, the chaser. <clears throat> chaser and codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues so yeah this masculine is facing the truth that they are self-sabotaging and this masculine is going to have to rebuild their whole life over um 
the fact of the matter is they are still chasing codependent things, pay, people, places, and things. And it's part of it is because they fear, they have a fear of abandonment issues. And so, yeah, this person is facing it and they're angry because it doesn't feel good. But oh well, distance, transformation, hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand gambling. Yeah. Yeah. So because this person, you know, is the chaser and is chasing a codependent relationship, you know, they were taking a risk. They were taking a risk, you know, and they were being st strategic. So they did plan it. Um, and that, and it says options right here. And this person, you know, they thought they weren't showing their hand, but at the same time, their secrets were revealed. The dark came to light quickly. Hand of cards. Yeah, yeah. They took a chance and they, you know, basically um, <clears throat> dated other people, um, you know, allowed romance to blossom with other people. Flirt with other people, you know, like other people, lust after other people. Wrong path, 999, it's a wrap. Mm hmm. Yep. And so there is someone that, you know, is walking away from this person because they're frustrated in this relationship. Um, because they know that whoever this is is self sabotaging, they have fear and ego issues. You know, they could have jealousy issues, but they are doing the most. So how could they have any, you know, issues towards another person in that way when they're doing the most? Not enough. Yeah, and I feel as though whoever's walking away from this person um, is not giving them what they need, you know, in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this person, you know, they could have your photographs or, you know, this person is, is basically um, reminiscing about, you know, the memories. And so that's probably where, you know, this facing the truth comes in. And so they're facing the fact that they're a chaser in codependent relationships. They have abandonment issues. Uh, this person lacks confidence. You know, they're self-sabotaging. They have fear and ego issues, control issues, jealousy issues. Mm hmm Yep. X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So, yep. Uh, this person is facing the truth, facing the fact that, you know either change or keep getting this karma but this person is going to be separated from other people um, until they learn their lesson because spirit is not getting ready to keep allowing this person to keep doing you know toxic things to other people that you know have no idea what's going on yeah and it's the ending to you know this person you know seduction it's the ending to this person, you know, flirting with other people, dating other people, having other options, hooking up, you know, third party interferences. It's a it's a, it's a done deal for that. Yep karmic relationship I can't make it up yeah it's an end spirit said this person yeah it's time for us it's time for this to stop it's a karmic relationship just you know toxic things um yeah mm-hmm yep because all this masculine is doing is stabbing people in the back. 
they're you know causing heartbreak they're causing pain um you know they could be you know being deceitful and things in their family or just you know but they're causing you know separations um because they're being deceptive Yeah. So yeah, spirit is definitely having a meeting with this person. Spirit and this person are having a cup of coffee at the table and spirit is giving it to this person like this person should get it. Yeah, because there's a new phase that this person, you know, is 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 getting ready to go through. Yeah, they're getting ready to be renewed because they are going through a transformation. The Phoenix. But I'm feeling as though um, whoever the other energy is that's ending or, well, walking away from this person, they could be having a new phase in life um, because they've had a change of mind when it comes to this situation and so they could be meeting someone new and I mean they could possibly be getting married this could be a soulmate that this person is going to meet the feminine energy that is walking away from this energy yeah because they're done dealing you know with this person they're avoid they're avoiding this person and they have boundaries up with this person yeah because this person, yes, whoever this masculine or feminine energy is that's facing the truth, um, they're codependent. They're obsessed. They're possessive. They're controlling. All right, spirit. Spirit, what else do we need to know about the situation or, you know, the outcome? What else do we need to know before we end the message? Hold on just a sec, y'all. Childhood wounds. Mm-hmm. So yeah, spirit is dealing with this person when it comes to healing childhood wounds. But this could be part of why this person stays, you know, in karmic toxic cycles. Basically, this person keeps themselves stuck in karmic toxic cycles. And it could be because of childhood, you know, wounds. But yes, moving forward, this person is, you know, facing the truth that they have to heal childhood wounds. I can't make it up, y'all. Separate from people, yeah. Because, yeah, spirit is going, uh, taking, this person is going through a transformation and spirit is taking this person on, on a roller coaster ride. Damn it, spirit, yeah. Put a fork in it, it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is, it's about to, masculine energy. So, um, what I'm getting so far is because this masculine still needs to heal childhood wounds and hurts, they're not going to be able to be in a relationship, you know, with a high vibing person, with someone on their spiritual journey. And so, because this, this person wants to go towards someone that is on their spiritual journey, that is high vibing, spirit is keeping them separate. And spirit is allowing the person to move forward the spirit is allowing the person to you know put a fork in it when it comes to this masculine energy
yeah, because for some of you, this masculine energy could be trying to blackmail you or set you up, or this, or this energy, or this, uh, or this masculine energy is getting blackmailed and set up. But spirit is saying, proceed with caution. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, it could be that Queen of Pentacles energy that, you know, participated in the childhood wounds when it comes to this masculine. And so this masculine is separated from people because he's going through a transformation and because he has to end, you know, all this toxicity. And so, you know, that other, that Queen of Pentacles energy could be blackmail, trying to blackmail and set this masculine up because they could possibly be, you know, ending, you know, this, this karmic relationship with this person. And so spirit is basically saying, you know, proceed with caution, but this masculine energy is surrendering to spirit. Yeah. And they're going through a lot of regret, a lot of guilt, a lot of emotional things. Or they're going to. If they aren't already. Yeah. And yeah, family is involved. So, like I said, for some of you, this person, you know, they just are deceitful and things to everybody around them. And so, you know, they're regretting it. They feel guilty. There is some paperwork, some documents, some type of evidence um, that could create some type of balance. And again, when we do the outcome and the advice, it's not always the outcome of the situation. It's just whatever spirit wants to come out. But there is some type of paperwork and evidence, documents that's going to create some type of balance. There is a false person. There is a karmic in the energy. And so the, the paperwork, the documents, the evidence could, you know, be talking about this false person or this karmic. Mm -hmm. Stop the cap. Stop lying. So whoever this false person is, whoever this karmic is, you know, they need to stop lying. Whatever paperwork is coming out. And I don't know who this is for. It's going to create some type of balance in your life because there is a false person and a karmic that could have possibly lied on you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And it could be a feminine, uh, excuse me, masculine energy that did try to blackmail you and set you up. So whatever this out, uh, this is right here. It is for someone. Yeah. Yeah, because whoever this false person or karmic is, you know, they need to stop lying. Um, because they are trying to cause someone to, you know, take a loss. And it could be, you know, to lose their mind, their spouse, their money, their house, their job, their kids. But this false person, this karmic is getting a wake-up call. The fact of the matter is, you know, they have addictions to drugs, gambling, alcohol, um, people, money. Mm -hmm. yeah but I feel like whoever this energy is this angry energy that's facing the truth yeah they're getting a wake up call and this person is also addicted to drugs alcohol gambling money people and they are going through karmic les lessons because they keep going through karmic cycles Yeah, I told y'all, spirit is not about to keep dealing with this person when it comes to this toxicity. This person's time is up. Yeah, and they're learning good lessons. You better believe that. This could be your twin, y'all. And I'm sorry because some of y'all don't want to hear it, but the time is up. And when it comes to, you know, this twin flame situation, the time is now. So that could be why spirit intervened and said, you know, this is the last time that I'm going to deal with this person. Mm hmm yeah because they were hiding secrets from you but um, the dark the light was came I mean the dark came to light quickly <clears throat> yep and they did did do too much
Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're their real love. You're their true love. But they, but they sacrificed it. Yeah, for gossip and lies. Like I said, they listen to people that don't have no substance. Mm -hmm. And whoever this uh, person is that is, you know, leaving this masculine. Um, yeah, this person is very spiritual. They have spiritual gifts. And so, you know, their discernment could have told them that this masculine, you know, was gossiping and lying. New beginning in love. But there is a new beginning in love for someone. Yeah. So whoever it is that's leaving this masculine, they are spiritually protected. And they could be the ones that, you know, are getting a new beginning in love. Because this masculine does have many options in love. But, you know, this could be, you know, a destined situation. But, but spirit is not going to allow the other twin to, you know wait for the twin spirit is going to allow the other twin to move forward and if this twin gets their selves together then spirit will you know cause a re reconciliation other than that the other twin is moving on and so they could possibly be having a new beginning in love yeah and everything has backfired and, table and tables have turned on this masculine why look at the bottom of the deck because they chose to go down the wrong path. Anything else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. um, someone is scared of the unknown. They're scared of what's going to happen. And it could be this third party. Or it could just be three or more people. Or it could be this person, you know, they're scared because, you know, they were found out that they, you know, were still dealing with in karmic relationships and they're scared of what's going to happen um, because it was found out that they were showing unrequited fake love. But there is a third party that is scared or three or more people that is scared of what's going to happen because they were showing someone unrequited love, fake love. But... There is divine protection, spiritual protection. There's a lot of spiritual protection out here. Mm. Release from jail. So there's a third party situation that's scared of what's going to happen because they showed um, this masculine energy, fake love. But... Or there's three or more people that are scared because, you know, they show this person fake love. But there is, you know, the spiritual protection because this person is getting released from jail or prison. And someone is healing from this situation. From, yeah, from the secrets coming out. Mm -hmm. Because there is a change, but whoever this is, they know, yeah, control freak. Um, they know that, you know, they put you in competition, but this, whoever this is, they are a control freak. Mm -hmm. They could also be a thief, but they are a karmic masculine and they're worried and scared because they're just lying to keep you and they should have listened more and talked less. Um, there could be some type of investigation or something going on in the court. And there are boundaries and expectations and standards you did set them for this person because you're on your spiritual journey. They could be hiding a hidden child or a hidden pregnancy with a karmic feminine. This person loves you, but they are untruthful. They're definitely going through bad mental health because of the black magic and spells that the copycat, um, you know, put on them. And the copycat is a person from their past. This person is nervous. They have sweaty pits because you're rejecting them to protect your energy. Because you know that they're just using you. They're going through anxiety and depression because you're getting spiritual messages. Um, that this person needs to go on a different path. But they are playing on your emotions and they are bound to a spell. And that's why they're going down the wrong path. Anything else, spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to try to use a victim mentality. And they're going to try to guilt trip you. But this, this, whoever this person is, they're not ready. 
um, you know, for what's getting ready to take place for them, you know, trying to disrupt your energy. Yeah, they need to be brave now. Yeah, and you know, someone could be getting money from a court situation. Hmm. All right, y'all. Let's get these up real quick. I didn't want to make the message too long, but we had to get it out. So, hmm, let's see. I guess we'll use... tarot just to get one last little snippet spirit what is the outcome love spell so yeah this masculine is still going to be under a love spell and so that's probably why, you know, spirit is basically intervened um, because if spirit didn't, this person was just going to continue to be stuck. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And this person could, you know, be experiencing health issues from the black magic and spells. Um, this person is going to try to communicate with you. Distance, look. I know spirit talks to me. Um, you know, they're going to ask for you to forgive them, to work it out. And this person is at a distance from you. But the fact of the matter is, there's someone else. Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Yeah. And spirit says, let it go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you. Um, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. yeah so that's the outcome y'all i hope it resonated if it did please like comment share and subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon